all right what is up everybody so we are enjoying a nice summer night camping and doing some things that we love doing with the cooking is working with a dutch oven so tonight we're making a dutch oven pizza and tomorrow night we're doing a crisp so tonight what i want to do is just kind of walk you through some of the process i do to actually do the dutch oven pizza and um and we go from there and then tomorrow i'll show you the crisps so we'll have a lot of fun um learned some things with the pizza last time and i think we just made the crust a little crust a little bit thick and a little thick with the toppings and the sauce we'll thin that up a little bit now so after we got the crust on and and evenly kind of pressed through the pan we're going to add whatever toppings y'all want to do um what we did was we actually used some sharp cheddar and Italian cheeses for ours. Um, we used some banana peppers and pepperoni for our main topping. And we got some classic pizza sauce. And then we used some, let me show you here, some Italian seasoning. So we kept it simple. We like keeping it simple. And we got that all set built on the pizza and what i did here was i dug through i had the fire going for the last couple hours to build up a bunch of coals and i actually started it with um charcoal so that way we can get a good start to the coals which is kind of important for the dutch oven so i put a little bit of dutch coals on the bottom and set the dutch oven on top and then i just piled the coals on top of it so i'm actually going to reload the fire with a bunch of wood and some charcoal to kind of get some more coals going that way you know as i check the pizza and see how it's cooking um make sure it's cooking evenly and not burn on the bottom burn on the top and we'll see how it goes so as I, if the coals get or start getting losing their heat i'll just pile some more on and let it cook so now's the waiting game grab yourself a beer sit and relax next to the fire Check and see where we're at. Checked it a little while ago and the bottom was just a little bit doughy, so put a little longer, a little more coals in the bottom. Oh yeah. That looks really good. Alright. I say we're good. I say we're good. Cool. You know, that's why I had the glove on the other hand. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Just crispy enough on top. And we got some, got some brown on the bottom. So we're good to go. All right, well, overall, it's pretty simple. You just gotta keep an eye on it and keep track of your coals. As long as you got hot coals, it won't cook, take too long to cook but the bottom was just a little bit doughy when i checked it last time top was looking pretty good and after put a little more coals in the bottom it turned out perfect so 
Now, if you were smart, you know, unlike we are, you bring a pizza cutter. So, you know, check that for next time you do it. But we're gonna use a knife and do our best. So we're gonna eat it and tomorrow I'm gonna show you kind of what we do for a crisp and I'll talk to you a little bit more when I got a little bit better lighting during daylight. So have a good night, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, we are back at it today. I decided to break the camera out again for this crisp video. So that pizza turned out fantastic last night. Sorry about that kind of dark filming, but it is what it is. When you're doing this over a fire, sometimes the crisp doesn't get, pizza doesn't get ready till later. So that is all right. So we got the fire going and we are getting ready for the crisp. Gonna eat some dinner first, make some brats or something, and then then get the crisp ready to go. So that's what's going on. So the pizza last night, the our changes worked. So the thinner crust and the thinner sauce worked perfectly. They, so the bottom was soft. It's the bottom of the pizza was soft, but it wasn't doughy. And then the top was real crispy without being burnt. So that was perfect. It turned out great. So there's a few things that maybe net next time I won't use the tray and I'll just put it on the bottom of the Dutch oven, but you know, something to try, maybe think about next time. So all about experimenting. So today we're going to use a little bit of a pan not nearly as big of a pan as last night and um cook this crisp so stay tuned i'll show you what we got going it's going to be a good one all right so the crisp we're going to make a little bit of a recipe that we just started doing actually last fall during deer season and you need a little bit of a pie plate whatever size you want to make we're just going to make a small one tonight it's kind of hot so we're not going to do too much tonight some chunk pineapple cherry pie feeling and the best part blueberry muffin mix this makes it all and then of course you need a stick of butter so the amounts of each really depends on how much you want to make um, this little pan is not going to take the whole can and the whole box of this so I'm just going to use probably one stick of butt butter for that and we should be good to go so let's start putting this together So I just use one, just under one stick of butter. It looks just like that. So there's two different ways you can do the butters. You can either melt it in a pot prior to, but I like just slicing it up and putting it right on top. There's less cleanup and, and you get the same results. So if you put the butter on too thick, it'll take you a little, little bit actually for the crisp to be ready. But the trick is you want just enough butter to actually make it, make it all crisp up and work out. So the pie is built it is time to put it in the dutch oven pile the coals on and eat dinner while we wait for dessert
finishes up our Dutch oven video for the weekend. Hope you all enjoyed it. Maybe got a couple ideas for some recipes. That looks freaking amazing. So we're about to dig into that and go pass out for the night. <laughs> so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to follow along with all of our other videos. This one was a little different and a lot of fun to make. So I'll do a little bit more of these camping videos. So thanks for watching y'all. I'll see you on the next video.